Hi, yeah, so I'm a teacher, uh, and in my teaching I like to use stories and metaphors a lot because they make complicated topics uh, easier to grasp. One topic that I find that my students have a hard time with is asynchronous programming. So uh, I tell a story about asynchronous programming. Normally I tell this in the course of a lesson, which is 50 minutes, but you guys are all very smart and advanced, so you know about it. So I'm going to tell it in four minutes. So this is HN. Uh, HN is often very uh, hungry, which he says here. Uh, so he goes, uh, the Parisians will know this, it's called quick burgers. Uh, HN likes to go to slow burgers, uh, where the delivery times of hamburgers can go up to 500 milliseconds, which is incredibly long. So let's see what happens. The first version of uh, what I'm going to show is synchronous. So this time, uh, everything that happens is synchronous and people have to wait for each other. So let's see what happens. Nice music. HN goes in, he orders a hamburger. Oh, by the way, I gotta show this. I think I made the, wor the world's first. Can I use the mouse? Yeah. First responsive hamburger restaurant. Look at this. Look at the tables. Is there anyone from Guinness here? No, probably. Oh, I got it in four minutes. All right, so he's ordering, he's ordering. And as he's ordering, Marie, the waitress, is going to go to the chef and she's gonna order. But look at HN, I can show this. He's standing still because it's synchronous. He cannot move, look, he's standing still. And what happens next is another customer comes in while the hamburger is being prepared, and he's also standing still. This is Philippe Philop, by the way. Uh, and he's standing still, and he has to wait, so he's getting angry, and he can't move. And even worse, HN needs to go to the bathroom, but he can't move either, so it's a pretty bad situation in a synchronous environment. So, thinks the chef, he gets his hamburger, blah, 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 blah. Next scenario, the chef thinks, what can I do? I'm going to make it in parallel. I'm going to make the hamburger while he's waiting. So how will HN know that his hamburger is done? The chef thinks, you know what? I'm going to ask for his phone number. And when it's time, I'm going to call him back. You know, Sylvain already stole all the word jokes, by the way, but I'm trying it again. Uh, I'm going to call him back when the burger is done. So let's see, he's hungry. He orders from Marie. Marie says, yes, what's your phone number? HN is all like, oh my god, you want my phone number? He's blushing because he's like, why do you want my phone number? And she goes like, yeah, so I can call you when the hamburger is done. And he's like, oh, okay, whatever. So Marie goes to the chef, she orders a burger. Chef goes, what's your phone number? Marie goes, oh my God, my phone number? Why do you want my phone number? Apparently she forgot about this, which is really weird. Anyway, so uh, she gives him his phone number. He says, okay, it's fine. Uh, he goes, prepare, yeah, wait a while. He's gonna wait over here, blah, 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 blah. Hamburger's done. And he's gonna call, hello, hello, who's this? Yeah, it's chef, hamburger's done, okay. Hamburger's done, yeah, I'm gonna get the hamburger. Oh, okay. Yay, it's fine. Or is it? Because uh, what was Marie doing in that story? She didn't have anything to do. She just gave the hamburger, uh, like she passed it on. Why was she in this callback hell, you know? Callback hell. Uh, so the uh, chef thinks, what can I do? I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to give something to my customers. And I'm going to say, it's like one of those pagers. You know, have you seen them in the round things that light up? I'm going to give them the pages. I'm going to say, it's not done yet. But when it's done, and I promise it'll be done, then it will light up. So let's see what happens. He orders, blah, 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 blah. And I go, yeah, here's a pager. And then here's a pager. Just wait, 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 wait. Now, when the hamburger is done, the pager will light up. And poof, it turns into a hamburger. It's a magic pager. we got to play with it a bit. Yeah, it's OK. Anyway, so all is good, all is good, all is good. But you might think, you know, there's another solution to this, because Marie could have also given Etienne's number directly to the chef. Why did she give her own number? So let's imagine that she did this. She gave not her number, but Etienne's number to the chef. Uh, this is the same night. Uh, Etienne is standing outside. He gets a call. Who oh, is this? It's the chef. Hello. Do you want to go on a date, Marie? And Etienne's like, no, I'm not Marie. I'm Etienne. She gave you my, she gave you my number. He goes, oh, okay, do you want to go on a date then? And Etienne says, yes. Chef comes out and they live happily ever after. The end. Thank you.